Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're in here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button right next to it, that way you never miss a video. So as you can see by the title, I am gonna be showing you all some wedding dresses I tried on but did not get and i'm gonna explain to you all why i didn't get them but before i start i do want to mention what i was looking for so i already basically knew what i wanted but i was open to new ideas like as in trying on different things but i knew that at the very end i was still gonna go with what i actually wanted sorry if i'm talking with my hands i do that a lot so what i was looking for in a wedding dress was long sleeves I wanted buttons from the top all the way down to the tail. I did want a ball gown, but I was also into the, I don't know if it's like the memory dress, but basically like the, the dresses that stick to your body with an overskirt. But I was overthinking it a lot when it came to that style. Reason being was I would rather just have my dress be one specific way. That way I'm not overthinking like, should I take off the overskirt? Should I keep on the overskirt? Because guys, I am literally that girl that will literally be thinking about it all day and night. If I had like a two piece dress, I'd be like, should I leave it like this? Should I take it off? Should I wear it when I dance? Should I not? So I was like, I just knew it was not gonna work out. But I did go ahead and still try it on, which I will show you all very, very soon. And I was also looking for that vintage modern look in my dress i did know that i wanted some glam to it like some glitter like sparkles some like bedazzle something like that i wanted it to be glam but like not so glam to the point where the dress is wearing me and i'm not wearing the dress if that makes sense i just didn't want to look like i was drowning in my dress but that's what i was looking for long sleeves buttons as vintage as it could look but still modern hope i made sense i'm gonna go ahead and explain to you all where i went what i tried on why i tried it on if you do follow me on instagram you probably already know what my dress my wedding dress looked like but i am gonna go ahead and show you all and talk to you all a little bit about my wedding dress at the end of this video just so you all can see how it looked before and after because i did make some changes so if you're interested in knowing a little bit the long story short of my dress, how I got it, why I picked it, I will go ahead and explain that to you all at the end of this video. So make sure to stick around. But let's just get right into this video. The first place I went to go see wedding dresses was actually literally to just see wedding dresses. I didn't invite my family. I didn't invite my parent, my mom. I didn't invite literally like the people that I wanted there when I said yes to my dress. Reason being, I just wanted to see styles. I wasn't really looking for the dress when I went to the first store. So I went ahead and just went with my friend. We went ahead and just picked out some styles. That way I could see more or less what I wanted. And I literally picked out my dress that same weekend. I went down to the valley for a weekend or like a couple of days. And I was like, you know what? I should take advantage and see some wedding styles. That way I can see what I like, what I don't like. Because I am that person that when it comes to shopping for any kind of dress like for an event for when i was in high school for prom anything like that i would take forever to say yes to my dress like literally i would can try on so many dresses and if there was something about it that i didn't like i would just not get it i wanted to be prepared and i wanted to try on some styles so by the time i went to the actual appointment i would already know what i wanted exactly the first couple of dresses that i tried on i went to sposa mia and when i went to the other place i'll go ahead and split that up for you all and explain that way y'all don't get confused so these first couple of dresses i wasn't really looking into getting them i was just trying them on to see if i liked them like i said to be prepared for my actual appointment so I went to Esposa Mia and this is the first dress I tried on. I'm going to go ahead and leave like the pictures and like some clips here. That way you all can see while I look at it to refresh my mind. Okay, so whew. okay, so this is the first dress I tried on. And as you can see, like from far away, it actually does not look like a full on. How do I say it? Oh, I forgot to mention. I knew I wanted a more of a reserved elegant dress i wanted it to be covered i didn't know if i wanted it completely covered from the chest area or just like a v-neck but i knew that i wanted this area covered i did not want an off shoulder dress and yeah so as you can see this dress is actually um if you zoom in which i'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you all it actually has like that um i don't know what 
what it's called like the mesh it has the nude mesh which if you were close to me you could see and I knew it would have looked really pretty on if it was my size. Before I continue, I did want to mention that all of the dresses I tried on were not my size. They're always bigger in size and then they just clip them from the back and then they order them in your size. So all of these dresses I'm going to show you all, they were not my size. So as you can see from far away, it looks like off the shoulders, which was a big no for me. And I love the top as in like the sleeves and I, I did like the like the little um see-through with like the pearls it was really really cute i liked it a lot like that it was very glam on top and i also liked the buttons on the sleeves don't mind my broken nail guys like so sorry for that so what threw it off for me was one the top and two the bottom was so so plain for me but the picture does not do its justice it was literally like a cloud it was so so big and that's because i'm not wearing the crinolina in the bottom it literally felt like i was in a cloud and i wish that y'all could have seen it in person or i could have gotten like better pictures for you all as you can see from the waist mid down it has like some decor on it and it's really pretty it's like um it's not beaded it just has like little sparkles i don't know what they're called and again i do love the sleeve but i do not like that it wasn't all the way to the top and it did not have buttons in the back so as you can see very glam and then at the bottom it's just like i don't know how to explain the material it was i felt like it was more of like a tutu dress and i did not like that i don't know why i just didn't like it and i didn't like that at the bottom it wasn't like hugged with any kind of decor it was just like plain tutu in the bottom and i didn't like it i wanted i also wanted like for my wedding dress to have like the i don't know how to say it but i'll just say like outer border i guess i don't know like i wanted it to have like something hugging the bottom of my dress if that makes sense so this is number two i did i was not looking for this dress and i knew i did not want this dress but i was like you know what para sacarme de la duda me lo tengo que calar and that's exactly what i did i tried it on and it felt very very bridal uh, and it does look a bit loose because like like i said it's not my size but i did not like the midline it was very very low for me the back was really really pretty and it looked very traditional which i loved and then i'm going to show you all like here where i'm turning it just looked very bridal but it was a little too how do i say it it was a little too mature for me is what i thought i just felt very mature in it which i thought it was like nice but i don't know i was just like this is not the style that i want so it was literally like a no no más me lo calé para sacarme de la, de la duda so i wouldn't later on say like oh i wish i would have tried it on the tight dress you know so with the first dress i did mention to the girl that was helping us out that i liked the the top like the beading and stuff not the neckline thing but i wish it had a little bit more glam on the skirt part so she brought me this dress, which I loved the top. I really, really loved the top. And I actually loved how at the bottom, that's what I was trying to say, that it has like something to finish off the dress. Like it hugs the dress at the bottom, like the decor at the bottom. Is that how you say it, decor? I don't know if that's exactly what I'm talking about. That I liked for the dress to be hugged with something. And I'm going to show you all this back picture where you all can get a better view of that um material that i'm talking to you all about that i wanted like the glam on the bottom but what i did not like about this dress that it did not have buttons in the back and i did not like those lines going down the dress because i don't know why they just look so awkward to me this dress that i tried on it was actually really pretty like i said because of all the glam the glitter the glitz and all of that but the stripes were the stripes the lines for me were just throwing it off i wasn't in love with it like i just knew it was like it was really pretty but i did not like the lines it was really throwing it off for me so that was a no but like i said those dresses that i tried on were just to try on and see what more or less i like so basically i left with knowing that i was still set on the buttons all the way down to my tail i was stuck on the long sleeves with this covered and i was still very stuck on like i don't want it to be super plain but i don't want it to be super glamorous i feel like sometimes when you wear something that's like super out there sometimes it like shrinks you i guess you can say like i don't know 
Siento como que te come. I don't know if that makes sense. I left knowing exactly what I still wanted was what I wanted. Now, to the day that I said yes to my wedding dress was actually the next day. So, when I put my appointment to get my to check out the wedding dresses, I actually put it very last minute. I had stopped at the bridal store and I was like, oh, I just wanted to see some styles. And they're like, oh, we have, we actually have an opening in an hour and a half. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I called my suegra, I called my cuñada because I wanted them there. And then they were able to make it. And then of course my mom was able to make it. I was actually with her because we were on our way to the mall to pick up something for my mom. It was a very last minute appointment, but it ended up working out because that is when I said yes to my dress. Now to this appointment, I was actually very, focused i was like okay i want to see what i want to try on i want to make sure it's something that i like to try on because i was actually looking for the dress let's just go ahead and start off with the first dress i tried on this dress like i said i didn't want an off the shoulder dress but my cuñada was actually the one that picked out this dress for me she's like oh you should try on this dress so this dress um I didn't try it on because I was like in love with it. I was just like, you know what? It's a different style. She picked it out for me. She said I should try it on. So I'm going to try it on. So that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to put a picture of it here. This is the back. So the back, I actually really like from like the waist down. I did not like the sleeves. Like I said, I wanted a long sleeve dress, but it was actually a really pretty dress. It looked very bridal. I loved how it has the flowers at the end of the tail. Like I said, I wanted something like that. And I loved that it had the buttons. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you all so you can see. It had the buttons all the way down to the tail, which is what I loved. I really love that. But let me show you all the front. So a big no for me already is the sleeves. And the second big no for me is, I'm going to put a picture here. Look at how plain it is, guys. It was just so plain for me. Like it was just not doing it for me. So I did have the sweetheart cut, but the front skirt was just plain for me like i was like i feel like if i were to get this dress i would have to add some like bling to it because it was just not speaking me it, it didn't look as vintage as i wanted it to look okay so i tried on four dresses so the one that my my sister-in-law told me to try on the one that i thought was the one and i was like this is the one i actually saved it for last to try on because i had a feeling that it was the one and then the third one um the third one i it was the one with the overscore overscore overskirt i tried it on because one it was very glam two i was like para sacarme de la duda just to try on the style and i actually thought it was a really pretty dress i'll get into the details right now and then the dress that I ended up going with, which is the dress. So my wedding dress, I didn't pick it out. My mom actually picked it out. But it looked very different when I tried it on to how it looked when I got married. So let's just go ahead and continue. I just wanted to mention that because I feel like I don't want to get you all confused. Okay, so this is the dress that I tried on with an overskirt. Yes, it looks very, very glam. I'm going to zoom into like the sleeves and stuff. It's very, very glam. A lot of sparkle a lot of rhinestones i was obsessed but i was not obsessed with the neckline and i was overthinking it a lot because i was like well like am i gonna wear it like this am i gonna have the overskirt all night like i don't know i just thought that i would feel more comfortable and i would like worry a lot less if i just had one specific style of a dress that way all of the pictures of our wedding look the same and then when i mentioned the neckline she messed it up for me basically because she's like oh well we do like a the nude a uh, mesh which i have a picture of i'm gonna put it here i absolutely hated it i was like no i would have actually liked it more if you all could like just close it for me so then they brought in the lady like la costurera and she said that she actually could not do it and okay so then i started walking in it and I hate it. I'm going to put a video where I turned just a slight bit and where I turn, like, it looks like the skirt como se separa. Mind you, it was already hooked to the dress because you have to hook the overskirt to the dress. So, as you, I don't know, it looked like I had a tail, like, 
going behind me and it, it it didn't look nice i thought that when i would walk it was gonna be me in the slim dress with the overskirt right at my hips you know like i was gonna be walking with the overskirt at my hips no se separaba del vestido and i hated it i hated it and i was like mm, no this is a no and but i just kept staring at myself like i really like the bling right then my mom takes this picture which i'm gonna show you all guys i was like that's all you needed to show me i don't like it let's take it off let's move on so this is the picture that said no for me it literally looks like a fishnet literally i was like ew like it looks so flat it doesn't have volume and the pattern looks like a fishnet so i was like no like i want volume like i don't want this kind of dress so that was already a no for me so now i'm gonna show you all the dress that i thought was the one i was literally set on it like when i looked at it i was like i feel like this is gonna be the dress until i tried it on this is the front of the dress that i thought was the one i absolutely loved the top i just hated the mesh here but they were gonna um cut it off since it was on there they were gonna be able to cut it off so i was like i love love the top but the back did not have buttons so this is the back and when i saw the back i was like okay maybe i can get over the fact about the buttons maybe because i really like the top from the front but when i saw the picture this picture that i'm gonna put here i hated the dress like i was literally like no like this is not my dress so reason being was because i thought this is gonna sound so mean guys but i'm just being 100 percent honest with you all i literally said it in the in the store i said that the skirt of this dress looked like the mantel that they use for the tables like at quinceañeras and weddings i literally was like no and i didn't like the the way it looked with the finolina as you can see in the front it has like that little bent thing so i had asked if they were able to fix it and they're like well unless you just don't want to wear it and i'm like no because i wanted volume like i said and she's like the people that have bought in this dress don't really use the crinolina they just let the dress like flow and i was like mm, no that's it's not for me and i was like at this point i was like okay i have one dress left which was very sparkly which is my wedding dress but i was like it just feels a little like dang like como que te decepciona when you thought that the dress you saw was gonna be your dress and then you try it on and you're like mm, no next up i tried on my wedding dress so long story short with my wedding dress the way that my mom picked up my dress it was on a mannequin right and it didn't have the volume like from the from the waist down it was just like caido on the mannequin and my mom literally ran to she's like is amar mira este and i was like mom that's like too like um high like maybe if it was a little lower i was like i don't know i'm like and it doesn't have any volume the girl that was helping us um overheard me and she's like oh no the volume like we can fix and i'm like okay and i was like you know what like i am my mom's only daughter well i am the only daughter of my family i'm the only girl in my family and i was like and if it was my daughter and i saw a dress that i really liked i would have loved for her to try it on i tried it on for my mom because that's the dress that she loved which when i put it on guys i could you know like my heart's like racing right now and like just thinking about it i knew it was the one i walked out like this is the dress like i didn't want to try on any dress i'm like this is a dress i don't want to go to any store i bought it that same day so that's the long story short of the my wedding dress how it ended up in the fitting room so i tried it on in the fitting room and i was like wow like i actually really like this dress so i came out and like my sweater my my cuñada, like they could just tell my face like my mom too she could just tell that i was like in love with this dress and i was like and can i see it with a veil can i see it with a crown like i was already like this is my dress i'm gonna show you all a video but as you can see in the video it doesn't have any volume so they went ahead and added the volume to it like from the bottom and as you can see oh my god my hair is so short ew <laughs> so as you can see it has the the buttons all the way down to the skirt 
And um, I don't know if I put it in my hands. I actually, no, but there you can see, I'll stop it. It actually had pockets, which was so cool. My wedding dress has pockets in it. I love that the glitter and I loved how it looked in like the lighting, the glitter would just shimmer, which I'll show you all some clips of that right now. So um, this is a picture of me when I tried on a cathedral wedding dress. Don't mind my off guard a face, but this is me in the wedding dress. Mind you, this is not how, um, this, how can I say it? Like the ball gown, I actually made it more, um, big poofier i made it like a more poofier of a dress just because um i wanted it to be very big very cloud but i didn't want it like a quinceanera where you walk and like the i feel like when like you have a i feel like with quinceanera dresses you walk and the dress like walks like moves with you like that if that makes sense i still wanted my dress to flow behind me i wanted to flow naturally but i just wanted volume to it which is what they ended up adding after i said yes to my dress and purchased it and i went to like the after they measure you and stuff but in this picture this is without the modifications everything that i changed from my dress this is just the way it looked when i tried it on from the mannequin to me so this is the way it looks and yes guys can you tell by my face that i loved it i was like ah this is my wedding dress i love it i love it i love it i love it <sighs> guys i loved my dress so now i'm gonna show you all i'm gonna explain to you all what i changed to my dress what i changed obviously the measurements a lot smaller because the dress is big when you try it on they just clip it from behind they go ahead and add more volume to the bottom so they added more material to the bottom and that was basically it is that's basically what i changed so i'm gonna show you all some pictures here just so you all can see how it looked on my wedding day and i'm also gonna show you all some close-ups and some clips where you can see my dress um shining so this is a close-up of my dress on my wedding day as you can see it is a lot smaller it fits me it's my size let's talk about the neck part so when it came to the neck part like i said when i tried it on i was like mm, it's a little too high i ended up loving it when i tried on i look i thought it looked very elegant and i knew that for my wedding day i wanted my hair up so i had already envisioned myself with the crown the style of the crown that I actually wore on my wedding day. So I thought, okay, if I have my hair picked up and the neckline's up to here, it's still gonna pop, it's still gonna stand out. So it was not a problem for me. I kept that, I didn't cut my dress at all from that. So as you can see, this is me with the crown, with my hair picked up, obviously ready for my wedding day. And as you can see on the sleeve, it had buttons as well, which I love. The, um, all the dec decor, the style of everything on the top i was just in love with my dress and then now i'm gonna show you i ended up going with a non-cathedral veil for the re reason being was because i knew that i wanted to walk into church with my face covered i wanted it to be very traditional how they did it back then i wanted our weddings to be very traditional vintage but a little bit of modern in there so um i ended up going with that veil and then I was like, you know what? I know that if I have a cathedral a cathedral veil, because my mom had actually told me, well, why don't you get both? I'm like, because then I'm going to be like, mm, like I want to wear the long veil or should I wear the short veil? Like, when do I switch to the short veil? I didn't want to be thinking about it. I just wanted to be like, this is what I'm wearing. This is how I look and this is how I'm going to look all night. So I went ahead and got a veil that had double layers with some shimmer at the bottom. So I did walk into the church with my face covered. Brian uncovered my face that sounds so funny so now I'm gonna show you all a picture of my dress hanged the day of my wedding dress without the crinolina so this is what my dress looks hanged it looks very very different than from what it looks like on like myself on my body okay so now this is a picture of my dress walking out of the church and I you, as you can see all the buttons it's a lot more opened at the bottom, like from the waist down, the skirt part. It's a lot more open. It looks a lot more 
voluminous if that makes sense it, it has a lot more volume it has volume but not like over the top volume like as in it doesn't look like a little copa if that makes sense like i didn't want my dress to look like copa and me like in the middle like walking with a copa like a copa una copa i don't know how to explain it to you guys i hope it makes sense the way i'm describing it like i just didn't want it to be like that i wanted it to still flow as you can see in this dress it still flows and there you can see my veil as i said it's a double layered and then in this dress, in this picture, you can see the back of my dress. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you all so you can see the buttons actually start right where you clip the dress all the way to the bottom of the skirt, which hands down that was like, I was like in love with that because like I said, I did want the buttons. And then here I am going up some stairs. As you can see when I'm like walking or just standing, it looks like it still has that flow to it which is what i really wanted i was very concerned about that when i tried on my dress right before i took it home so i'm gonna go ahead and put some clips for you all where my dress is moving where i'm moving not my dress where i'm moving and my dress is moving so y'all can see the sparkles at different lightings i'm gonna show you all that i'm gonna show you all a clip of, da of me dancing with brian so you can see that my dress was very flowy which is what i really loved about it and just some different angles. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little clip for you all. Okay guys, so I hope y'all enjoyed those little clips of me with my wedding dress and y'all can see the details of it. So I know I did explain why I didn't get the other dresses I did not get, but it but with my dress, there's not really much to explain. I when you know that it's your dress, which I did not believe, I was like, that's a lie. Like a lot of people were telling me, like, you're gonna know when your dress is your dress. And I'm like, no, that's a lie, I'm gonna struggle. Que bueno que no que fue así, that it happened the way it did, that I actually did try it on and I knew it was the one. And I didn't actually struggle finding it and it has a lot more meaning to me that my mom chose it and I ended up loving it as well. Obviously, even if it was a dress that my mom picked out and I didn't like it, I would have been honest. Like, I just don't like the dress, obviously, because it's my wedding day. But it just added more a more of a sentimental touch that my mom had chosen my dress and i was absolutely in love with it when i tried it on everything about it there's just not really much to explain if you're married or you're gonna be married you won't you should understand when it comes to your wedding dress you just love everything about it and obviously that's why you pick your dress 
and that's one of the main reasons why i love the dress the buttons the long sleeves the elegant touch to it how it looked very vintage how it still had that flow to it but volume and of course the sparkles i wanted a glam look but not super over the top glam because i didn't want the dress to be wearing me i wanted to stand out as well with my dress and what completed my dress was that brian also loved my dress because obviously when it comes to your wedding dress you think oh well, how will he react when he sees me with my dress he literally could not stop telling me during the church that he loved my dress and that that's nothing he expected reason being was because when i picked up my dress they give it to you in a bag but obviously te dan la crinolina aparte and i posted this picture on my instagram story like am i gonna wear a flowy dress a ball gown or mermaid and he was like why did you post that picture like now i know you're gonna wear a mermaid dress and i'm like well you still don't know what it looks like Obviously, it was not a mermaid dress, but I made him think it was a mermaid dress with that post. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me explaining why I did not um, choose those dresses that I did. And I did want to mention that my wedding dress is from Bride's Gallery in McAllen. So the second part of this video where I told you all that I actually went to the appointment to get the dress where I was looking for the dress. I did go to Bright's Gallery. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. If you have not followed me on my social media, I would appreciate it so, so much. I'm going to go ahead and leave my social media right here. But until next time, bye guys.